Today we will learn how to install Python. First of all, we will download the proper version of Python and then we will create a local bat file. Then we will install basic packages like NumPy, SciPy. Assuming that we have a Windows 10 64 bit operating system, we are downloading the appropriate Python file. So once we search Google, we find this sort of file. Now, here we have Windows 32-bit and 64-bit. As we assumed we are going to install 64-bit, we should download the 64-bit Python uh, version. So we will download Windows of x86 64-bit executable installer. Once downloaded, we will install it. So we can see Python 3.7 version is going to be installed in our local machine. So it is installed. Now that we need to find where it is installed. So it's somehow user and then app data, local, then program. Yes, then program, then Python. So I have installed uh, Python 3.6 previously, so there is two folder. But for you, it will be only one folder. So we downloaded the version and now we need to create a local bat file. This file is because we need to install Python packages. So this is our Python directory. Here we have a script folder where we are going to create local dot text file first because we need to write cmd inside that file. So local dot txt. Now we will type c m d c for cat m for mother d for day now we are going to rename the file name so that it can be local dot bat file not text So once we double click it or open it, that file, local.bat file, when we open local.bat file, it will show us that command line interface, CLI, that black screen. So as we are here, this is our CLI, command line interface. Here we will install all of our libraries, whatever is necessary for our Python packages or our Python programming. So right now, I'm going to install NumPy. So we need to type PIP install then NumPy. N-U-M-P-Y. So now that it will download the necessary files and then it will install. So whatever package is necessary for your Python, you will install it the similar way. PIP space install space numpy or scipy or matplotlib or whatever. So it will be installed from that command line interface.